and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a diagonal split screen effect. I've got three video files. I drag the first one into my timeline and the second one on top. Let us scale the second one down in effect controls and then I reposition it. Now go to effects, use linear wipe and drag and drop it on the second video file. If you can't find your effect controls, go to window, click on effect controls, it should open. Let's open the transition completion and we will play around with the wipe angle. I want to have something like 120 to 140. It makes sense to scale this up a little bit and then reposition it further. The exact values and positions, they depend on the footage that you use, so just play around with it. The transition completion and the wipe angle, they adjust this linear wipe. And then the position and the scale, it adjusts the video file. We can now put the third video file on top. Well, let me first cut it short a little bit. I press C for the cut tool. Around four seconds is enough to show this effect. So I'll add the third footage, cut it short, then I scale it down and I want to put it to the left bottom. And again, it needs a linear wipe. So drag and drop it. There it is. Transition completion and the wipe angle, we need that. This time it should be between 200, 250. That's a good value for this position. So you get the idea. Always use the linear wipe first and then scale it up and down and readjust the position. It also makes sense to reposition the first video file. So in this case, the swimmer, I want it to be exactly in the center. So you can select it and then scale it a little bit up and then readjust the position. If you don't scale it, you might have black areas on the right, left, up or down. So be careful here. If you want to create a frame, there are multiple ways to do this, but I think the easiest is to just use the pen tool you can press P for that and then zoom in. Use the hand tool to navigate. Press P for the pen tool again and then reposition these anchor points. By the way, short key for the hand tool is H. And that's good. It has created a new element on video channel 4. Let me cut that short once more with the cut tool C. And here's our shape 01. I've used a stroke and I can give it, for example, a black stroke. And you can play around with the width right here. 20 is fine and I want to keep it white. We need one more. So again, P for the pen tool. Create your anchor points. Zoom in. You use your hand tool to navigate and then readjust the anchor points once more with PE, the pen tool. So I've created yet another element. It's also called shape 01, so don't get confused here. You need to be sure that you've got the right element activated. I 
As I've said, it's also called shape zero one. So if I size it up and down, you can see this right line or this right frame is now adjusted. And this is how you can create this diagonal split screen effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.